Have you ever been in love? I'm gonna sip because uh, there's just very complicated things. Hey guys, it's Emily Skinner and I'm going to be playing Sip or Spill, a game of question and answers where I get to decide to take a sip and don't tell you or spill and tell you everything. So let's get into it. Okay, first question. What is something a lot of people don't know about you? I feel like I'm very much an open book with a lot of people, but one thing people don't know about me is more of an introvert. I feel like a lot of people think since I'm an actress, you know, social, and I'm definitely more of an introvert. What is your biggest pet peeve? Probably fake people. I don't know if that counts, but I, I'm like very honest and like, I don't know, I don't hide anything. Even if it's like sometimes not the best thing to say, I usually just say it, but I hate people that hide everything and like talk behind your back. Like I'd rather people just be straight up with me. What character do you identify with most? I'd probably say a lot of the characters in Euphoria. Not like, <laughs> like I identify a lot with Rue, not like her drug addiction, <laughs> but I identify with lots of her personality traits and the things she's going through. What is your strangest habit or routine? Well, lately I've been going to bed at like 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. and then waking up at like 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. Yeah, I probably should work on that. Have you ever been in love? I'm gonna sip because uh, there's just very complicated things. Yeah, you'll never know. Have you ever had a crush on someone in total eclipse? No. I mean, no, I haven't, so. <laughs> Have you ever had a crush on someone in Andy Mac? They're like my family, honestly. Like they're my brothers and sisters, so I just, yeah. Who do I identify with more, Chloe or Diana? Probably Chloe more, just because we have the kind of the same personality. Like I'm not as high strung as Diana. I have more of Chloe's chill personality. Tell us about a recent embarrassing moment. <laughs> my whole life is an embarrassing moment. A recent embarrassing moment was when we were filming Total Eclipse and I zone out very easily. Everyone on set makes fun of me for that. I was completely zoned and Chris, the director said action like four times and I didn't hear any of the, the times that he said it. And I was just standing there staring at nothing. And I was the only person in the scene too. So I was just standing there like this and he's like, action, action, action. And I did not hear it and everyone started laughing and I had no idea what everyone was laughing at and I thought I, something happened and I was like, what? And they're like, Emily, go. And I was like, oh, and it was really embarrassing. Would you rather go a day without your phone or a week without music? That is literally the easiest question I've ever had to answer. A day without my phone. I cannot go a day without music. Like I listen to music all the time. Describe the scariest moment of your life. I'm not gonna say it. Describe the proudest moment of your life. The proudest moment of my life was probably when I booked Andy Mac. You know, it was like the biggest step in my career so far. So like that was, that was really cool for me. And also when Andy Mac won um, a GLAAD award, which was amazing. Cause like it, I knew it was doing great things for people. Favorite book of all time. I have lots of favorite books. Perks of Being a Wallflower is definitely one of my favorite books ever. Where do you see yourself in five years? I mean like ideally, where do I see myself? Or like realistically, where do I see myself? I hope to see myself at uh, working, doing either a show or continuing college. Uh, either of those things, I hope to see myself in five years. Okay, if you had to choose one person from Total Eclipse, one person from Andy Wack, and one person from Crown Lake to bring to a deserted island, who would they be? I'm gonna sip just because I'm not gonna be able to pick one person from each show because I love all them so much. What is the best gift you've ever gotten? My grandma gave me this little wish box when I was like seven. And basically like every time I felt stressed or felt like I needed something, I would like wish something into the box. Like I wish that this would happen. And then it would like make me feel better. And then I'd close the little box and I still have it to this day and I still wear it and I still wish to it. <laughs> and I love it so much. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Oh my gosh, definitely flying. I always talk about if I come back as something, I would come back as a bird and I wanna be able to fly so badly. So definitely flying. What's the craziest thing you've ever done? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> 
gonna go ahead and sip because <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. This is just exposing me. Oh my gosh, I was literally just talking about this. If reincarnation is real, who do you think you were in a past life? I have been talking, I've been thinking about past lives this entire quarantine. I don't know why. I've been having dreams about them. I've been thinking about, I've been tweeting about them. I've been like, guys, do you think, I don't know. I'm just so, so interested in them. What is the hardest thing you've ever been through? Trusting a person and then them betraying your trust and you realizing that they're not who you think they are. That is definitely hard because you revolve your life around certain people if you become really close to them. And then when you find out that they're not who you think you are, it's very crushing and hard. What can you not live without? I can't live without my dog who I love so much, my dog Molly, and also my sister. I couldn't live without my sister. She is my best friend and my favorite person, and she is the reason I am the way I am. <laughs> Have you ever had a crush on your best friend's boyfriend or girlfriend? <laughs> no. No, I haven't. And even if I did, I wouldn't do anything about it because that's rude, but no, I haven't. Thank God. Who do you look up to most? Definitely my sister, just said that, but she is the kindest person you will ever meet. She's kind to everyone she meets, even if they're mean to her. She's just so nice, she radiates so much love, and I aspire to be as kind and positive as she is. If you could only listen to one song again for the whole year, what would it be? I probably have to say Feels Like We Only Go Backwards by Tame Impala. I've liked that song for like three years, and it has always been one of my favorite songs. It always relaxes me, it makes me happy. I love that song so much. What is the last picture you took? Show us. The last picture I took. <laughs> so I was in my room stretching like one does in quarantine and my mom walked in and was like, wow, you've gotten a lot less flexible. And I was like, I know mom, that's why I'm stretching. And so she took progress photos of me. <laughs> of my splits and they're so bad. I'll show you because I don't care, but this is the look. Can you see it? This is my beautiful split. I look like I'm giving birth. Who's your celebrity crush? Uh, I have two, um, Timothy Chalamet and ASAP Rocky. Just so beautiful. I love both of them so much. What is the grossest thing you've ever eaten? <laughs> I don't really like, this isn't that gross, but I don't really like Spam. And my dad loves Spam. And so we were in Hawaii and he didn't tell me that I was eating Spam and gave me a ton of Spam dishes and I ate them. And of course I didn't like them because I don't like Spam. And then he told me it was Spam thinking that I would like it, but I didn't. What's your spirit animal? I do get compared to a monkey a lot because I love like climbing trees or a dolphin because I also love the ocean. If you could have lunch with anyone living or dead, who would they be? Audrey Hepburn, because she inspires me so much. She just seems like such a classy, wonderful person. I didn't even have to sip that much. I'm kind of proud of myself. Thankfully, that's it. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. I hope I didn't expose myself too much. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time.